Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer and shot this image a long time ago. 35mm reversal film. No, actually not. This is black and white image. 35mm black and white film. And uh, I colorized by AI Adobe Photoshop Neural Filter to colorize this way. Pretty nice. Nice sunset colors and uh, I think almost real, um, close to real color. I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember, but uh, I really think so. And uh, this is my subject, all right. And uh, I got this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used to create a code find edges to make something interesting image from these two images. Well, let's get started. Actually, I've been working on some kind of method to make some light color illustration type image these days and I want to try on that. Yeah, so let's find out. First of all, I'm going to change blend mode of this pencil drawing type image to get some nice interesting images. Like, uh, let's see, nice skin tone. Color burns nice skin tone. And uh, the other one is, I want to see like overlay, overlay and uh, overlay looks nice too. And this luminosity effect image, real saddle base color as a base image. That's what I'm gonna try to do today. But I wanna look for other images. Yeah. Okay, get nice skin tone from this color burn effect. So I'm gonna make, make group. Then duplicate this group. Flatten this image. Okay, color burn for skin tone. Just turn it off. Now next one is base image, which is illustration type image. So luminosity. Okay. Now, same thing, duplicate this group, then flatten this image. Now, luminosity effect image. This is too thin, so change this blend mode to multiply this darker because there is a luminosity effect image on this group. So I just doubled, right? This is one layer, but change to multiply. But let me see. Yeah, color burn. Multiply is darker. Or how about linear burn? It's real close. Almost same, huh? Well, in this case, Maybe interesting change to linear burn. Now let me see. This is gonna be the base image. Then I change this color burn. Well, skin tones from this color burn image. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Turn on color burn effect image. Make mask. Invert this mask. Now. Reveal this mask. Use the brush, soft brush. Airbrushing to soft brush. Let me see, I can touch up later. I just want to check out. This method, I, I used this a couple days ago. And uh, I don't know if I, if this method is gonna work on this kind of image. I just want to try it. Okay, this is 
color burn effect. Nice skin tone from this color burn effect. And uh, luminosity effect image is the base image. Well, this group is luminosity effect image. Then uh, over that, combine one layer, change li linear burn to get this illustration type image, right? Okay, now I'm gonna add one more layer for top. It's gonna be the white layer. Fill this layer with white, then uh, make mask. And ma mask with tiny texture, which is drawing to evolve. As I said, I want to try uh, to find out if this method is going to work on other style. Now I'm going to add some colors. So add colors layer under this white layer. Okay, add this color. This is, I use the vivid light effect. So change blend mode to vivid okay then okay this time use brush air brushing to soft brush okay to see this color i want to add another layer under this color layer this is density color i mean uh, density layers to show this color layer colors this blend mode is vivid so it's got to have something underneath to show up show the colors so this is gonna be something all right then uh, same brush soft brush to add some gray Look, you see this here. Look at this. Add gray. Then see the layer. I just add gray on this layer to show color layer, right? You know what I mean? Okay. Now that's the way I did a couple days ago and uh, I want to try and continue to add some colors. Now I want to use this mask on white layer and adding color layer. Use this density layer to show this color layer, colors. Okay, now first of all I'm gonna add colors. I need to reveal this mask to show nice skin tone as well.
Okay. Now to show skin tone. Okay, I go for details. That's for this color effect. Now I want white layer to show up. Now we use this evolve brush texture to mask to show reveal this white layer. Emphasize some colors. Brush is soft brush. Well, just add colors. This color is gonna be a little bit emphasized because this blend mode is vivid. So Nicest thing is on models skin tones more orange rich healthy skin tone add color on this vivid light effect layer a little bit yellowish so go reddish touch more okay now you need to add density layer to add uh, to show these colors. especially in this white area doesn't have much density so add some density layer then same time we add color Well, pretty confusing, huh? Okay, pretty much. This is color layer. 
This is density layer. Let me see about these colors. I wanna clean up some. Then get density to show up some more colors. Like so. Right, this is pretty important. This density has because there is a color because of this blend mode doesn't show much if it's no density so I need some something around here maybe add soft brush to add some gray on this density layer about around here to get some texture of the brush show up. But at the same time, I want to add as a color, so maybe well use the brush on color layer, same soft brush to add real thin blue. texture come from this white layer mask so I'm gonna use evolve and white colors dark let's see then let me see add color I want to show this hairstyle. So let's see. Maybe around this mask. Hmm. Not much texture around here. So well. This image you're gonna make some shape of the 
shape of the, of the model's hair style. Well, this is going to be a little bit difficult to This is going to show some shape of the model's pose. So, let me see. This mask. This is a very important part, I think. It's going to show her expression so much. Maybe about this, then a little bit more, maybe this one too. This one is soft brush. Then texture is this mask. Okay, now add color. Brush. Need some texture here too, huh? Okay. Well, give it a little bit more orangerish. Yeah. I guess a little by little I understand what I'm doing. I think. Now let's see. Add maybe a little more yellow. Need some mask. mask so much important around here yeah that's very important well it's kind of dark image on her face so I gotta lighten up yeah that's come from here so uh, well let me see if I tone down this Maybe 80%, I think. Then I got yeah, this mask. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, my, yeah, maybe this is better way. But, uh, this around here too much huh mm, white makes lighter but in this case though maybe just the eraser tool tone down but i want to add some texture of the brush Sharp texture image. Okay. Hmm. Pretty fun, but pretty difficult. Yeah, I need more study, but that's really fun. I'm gonna study about. Well, let me see. 
I mean, a um, fine and color. Maybe this density, huh? Yeah, and gray. Then this mask. Okay, I guess I gotta fix this way. That's really interesting, but difficult to control. Mm. Need more study. Well, pretty difficult. So complicated, but really fun. You need to study a lot. Yeah. Well, now this is the original base image start with. Okay, I add pencil drawing type image, change blend mode to luminosity to get this image. Then I march down to get one layer over this image. This is the group image. Then I march to one layer and change blend mode to linear burn to add this to get darken luminosity effect image then original image i add over this image change blend mode to color burning effect to get this with mask this is just for skin tone and background light this is for skin tone then uh, add white layer with mask yeah. Then add some colors. Then add density layer to show colors more. Like so. Well, that's it for today, but uh, this color layer is vivid light effect. So, pretty sharp colors. Maybe tone down, 70, 80, maybe that's kind of saddle colors, huh? Yeah, so far, this is it. We need some more study. Yeah, too many colors, so busy. Well, that's it for today anyways. Result for today and uh, Thank you for watching my video and I hope you will find some kind of idea for your creative work. And uh, I really appreciate for you guys' support and you guys have a nice day. And see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Good day. Well, nice colors and nice texture, but I need to study more. Simplify, maybe different touch yeah well next time thank you